Good morning and welcome to the weekly analysis for the week of the 26th of May. We have four items on the list for today. So let's get started. Um, <clears throat> first, we have a bullish order block for Euro AUD. So let's go to the weekly. As you can see, price has been fairly bearish for some time. However, the last swing of this move here, which tapped into, looks like the order block here is here. So, so the last swing was bullish, had a bullish swing. Um, And price has been price has pulled back. So let's fib the last up move. Oops. So if we fib the last up move, <clears throat> price almost came back to the 78. However, um we still have bearish momentum. So we had this push here. And this push here, not breaking highs, and then started breaking structure. So my guess is price is likely going to come to the 78 or to the de this demand zone at the 88. And then start showing um, breaks of structure to, oh, hold on. I just feared that wrong. I just fib that all wrong. Okay, so, so now this is even more, this is at the 88. So bias is still the same. Um, looking for price to pull back into this zone here and then possibly continue down to the 88 and then get some breaks of structure to the negative 27. Okay. Um, so with that being said, I will go down to the daily to look for my last daily swing. So we had a break, a break of structure here. So then that was the high and then we had another break of structure here, which now makes this the high. Okay. And no break of structure here. So I would fib this last swing. Okay. And look for price. As you can see, price has already tapped into the imbalance. And yes, it did reject, but no breaks of structure yet. So um, based on the weekly, which is bullish, um, I would definitely be looking for a continuation of a buy up to the 78 or even the 88. Or if it wants to keep going, is it's... These are internals here. This is the external swing. So price could simply be going back up to here, but I would at least fib the last swing. And if price starts to break these highs, just know that you're still within the swing, the major swing of the move. Okay. Um, so price could just come up here to this um, area of supply and then start selling. But I would definitely be looking for price to make a shift or a change of character to the downside to continue selling um, to the negative 27.
or it, I'm sorry, to the neck to the 88. But you can for the internal or not the internal for the intraday move or a slightly swing trade. However far this comes back up to start, I would at least take it to the negative 27, which are this, which are these lows, which is this low. And maybe even the 618. Okay. So that's what I see for your AUD. US 30. US 30. Let's go to the weekly. We have a weekly bearish order block. So for us, price um, swept this high. And let me go to my daily because this was my this was my last key level here before price bought up to this area here. Okay. And price came to this zone, broke through this zone. I would look for a, let's go to the four hour. And there it is. You have a four hour bear shorter block. So my guess is price is probably going to pull back into the zone and start selling. <clears throat> um, if I had to take it somewhere, it would be to this next zone here. So we're talking approximately do, 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 do a lot of pips. Okay. Um, If you think price is going to pull back up into the zone, um, it may or may not. This, um, so I would definitely just either wait for price to break. I would wait for price to break here and I think we all know for me, a break is a um, closed candle for me. And then get in on the pullback, especially if you get a momentum candle, get in on the pullback to continue down. All right. Um, next we have USDJPY. We have a weekly bullish order block. So the first thing I would do is mark up my key level. Okay, I'm gonna mark that there. And that there. Okay, so as we can see, price pushed up. Pull back to the zone and now it's pushing back up to this zone. So price is either going to continue buying. Um, I don't think there was anything to the left to compare it to. So, um, so I would say the push up to this back up to this key level is approximately. 135 pips. All right. Um, so once price gets back to this zone, it's either going to um, start breaking structure to the downside or continue buying up and you have this high. So if price does not break this high and starts breaking structure, back and maybe back into this key level, then you can sell it at least down, back down to this zone. And again, this is, or was, or is approximately 600 pips. Okay. A 
for our yeah i would definitely um one this is in the middle so i would kind of stay out of this until it reaches um the zone and then once it reaches the zone it should if it reaches the zone let's say that um if it reaches the zone um because price could tap into this area of supply and then start breaking structure to the downside. All right. Um, last but not least, we have gold. So first thing I'm going to do is mark up my key level. So we have a zone here. And then we have a zone here. So, so we have prices um, looking like it's going to be trapped. So we have a bullish order block and then a bearish order block for the week. So my guess is price is going to, price may pull back um, to, let's just, Fib this move down. Um, price may pull back to 50% 618. I'm going to go down in time frame to see if I can find a, a possibility of whether it's going to be. Um, okay, so let's go down to the daily. So price may pull back to um, cause this was the violated order block. So price may pull back to this 38.2. It may even tap into, um, the 50%, which is the, um, imbalance here to then continue down to the negative 27 here without breaking these lows. If it does not break this low then we'll be looking for a continuation of a buy um, from this zone. And if price does break below, we would possibly be looking for the pullback for a continuation of a sell. Um, Price definitely needs to come back to this zone here. Um, that's already been tapped into. So yeah, so price could be, let's see, our last swing swing. We're gonna just go from here to here. So if price pulled back to the 78, I mean, I would be surprised, but um, <clears throat> but I do believe price is probably gonna pull back to this zone here. Um, to this zone here and continue up to uh, I think that was 2,500. Yeah, 2,500. So that's my thought, thoughts on gold. And that is all that I have. Um, thank you for watching, listening, and um, happy trading.